All right, what's up? Welcome back to uh, welcome back YouTube to Star Wars Part Three, <laughs> longest Pokemon battle ever. You know, I switch out. I go to Confagurus. Uh, he uses uh, Icy Wind for some reason and does nothing. You know, because Icy Wind really does no damage either way. Uh, my speed is reduced though. I use Shadow Ball and cuts it down almost. Massive amount. That's like a third, like a third damage. He uses Moonlight to get his HP back. I'm surprised he didn't like Calm Mind right there. He could have Calm Mind. He would have survived. You know, he was faster than me, but he didn't. He used another Moonlight. So I use Pain Split. You know, take advantage of that, get some of that health back. You know, that's Pythagoras' battle immortality right there. You know, so then he uses Calm Mind finally to start setting up, knowing that I can't do much to him at this point. So I use Willow Wisp just to help me out to burn it. Um, you know, but yeah, this is this battle is so freaking long. It's the best battle I've had though. You know, he's used combine. You know, shadow. I hit him with a shadow ball. It doesn't do much damage because of course he's got two combines on me. Um, he uses moonlight again. I use pain split to get that energy back. And man, this is why Cafagoras is so freaking useful, man. Because he can really be immortal at times. Like, look, he took a six, a two times um, calm mind signal beam and it did no damage. And then I just calm my, I mean, I just, you know, like, pain split to get the energy back. You know, he uses Icy Wind again, it does nothing. I hit him with another Shadow Ball, and he's he's dying at this point. Well, of course, he's got, he's got, you know, Moonlight. This time, I hit him with Shadow Ball, and I get the special defense drop. Even though he's still got two freaking, um, Calm Minds on me, but still, you know, I, I use, I use that, and I got, you know, I chop him down again. And I, he uses Moonlight again. I use Pain Split to get rid of any damage I have. And he goes out to Blissey. You know what? This is going to be an endless tirade right there. So, you know, um, I switch out. I go to Armaldo, you know, knowing I can hit Blissey. And he goes into Machamp. I go out to um, Vilaplume. Because, you know, I, I'm not trying to lose Armaldo just yet. You know, because he still has, I mean, he has priority, which means he's still useful with Aqua Jet. So he uses Fire Punch, you know, he gets paralyzed finally from the effects floor and gets hit with a Sludge Bomb. Almost dies right there. And uh, I use um, Moonlight to get my energy back. He gets me another Fire Punch, gets the burn. That kind of sucks, but it's, it doesn't really matter. Look, if he dies to the Sludge Bomb the next turn, and I'm about to die, so I pretty much say, well, you know, I, for, this is a stupid move right here. I really shouldn't have let Moonraker die here, but I did for some reason. I mean, I think I was getting really tired at this point because before I edited this video down, it was a little, it was almost 40 minutes. You know, so I had been battling for a little over 20 minutes right here with the same person. I was pretty tired, but I let I let him die, and uh, I get no effects for, but it doesn't really matter at this point. Because finally, Armaldo comes into play. The reason why I keep him alive, I kept him alive for so long. You know, I hit an Aqua Jet, get rid of Crocodile Death, Crocodile Dive. So that's two down. Alright, and um, so Reggie Steel comes out. Um, you know, there's nothing else. Armaldo really can't do much else. You know, so I let him go. Even though I probably should have kept him to go up against Cresselia, but I wasn't thinking about it at the time. You know, it was, it, was, it was pretty late when this battle was going on too, but... So, I go out to Pythagoras, and he uses the Iron Head. I was predicting the Thunder Wave, but he didn't do it. I use Magic Coat again. This time, I catch him. So, he uses Thunder Wave. I bounce it back at, at him again. And, um, you know, I don't know why I went for the Willow Wisp there. I think I was predicting a, um, a switch. But he eventually catches me with the Thunder Wave. Goes out to Blissey. I used this, uh, the, the Shadow Ball and there's nothing to Blissey because, of course, he switched out. I thought he was going out to, to, to Cresselia, really, or somebody else, but he went out to Blissey. So I used the, uh, he used Heal Bell, I used Willow Wisp to catch him. Uh, I switch out, I go back to, um, to um, Empoleon. Alright, so I go to Empoleon, and he used the Seismic Toss, and I use Skull. Alright, we both really don't do much damage to each other at all. Cause He's burned, so his, his physical attack is doing anything. Uh, Blizzy is freaking special wall, so my special attack is not going to do anything. And we're just going back and forth with Scald and, and, and uh, Seismic Toss here. You know, so he uses Hill Bell. I go back out to Confagurus. Uh, I don't know why, because there's nothing I can really do to Blizzy. 
other than burn it and use maybe use pain tool. But I go back out to Cafagoras. So he uses a uh, soft boil, and uh, I use pain slip, you know. And um, he goes out to Flurgus. All right, he goes out to Flurgus. I use pain split to get the energy back, but it doesn't do much because we were both almost at the same HP. And uh, that was just all. all right, so he uses moon blast. I get paralyzed, and um, which was just lame because I was gonna go for the. Pain split here, but it actually works out in the end, and I actually am able to pain split once he hits me with another moon blast, which gives me a lot more energy because my energy was a lot lower. So he hits me with another moon blast, I use another pain split, dragging his energy down more and more every time, you know. And he continues to go on the moon blast, and he catches me though. I get paralyzed, and so I'm not able to do it. So I switch out and I go back out to uh, Napoleon to take the moon blast, but I don't really want. Pythagoras to die yet. At least I'm still thinking I have a chance to win here. So I go for the um, the flash cannon, and it does pretty much uh, still some okay damage. You know, you know. I think he used uh, yeah, he used wish and he used protect, so he got all his energy back. Then he went out to Reggie Steel, and I use flash cannon, and it does nothing. At least Reggie Steel. So uh, at this point, I probably should have just stayed in and took the Iron Head and try to keep Cafagoras alive, but I switched and Cafagoras took the Iron Head and that was it. Cafagoras was dead. All my last Pokemon. There's nothing much I can do. I mean, I had Scald and it burns him. He used Thunder Wave on me. The battle is pretty much over at this point. The Star War is almost over. You know, he uses Rest to get some energy back. You know, I use Scald and it doesn't really matter at this point because I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose. You know, he goes out to Blissey, you know, I use Skull on Blissey, it does no damage at all, nothing, you know, so, it doesn't even give me a burn either, which kind of sucks, I'm like, really, you could at least give me a burn, so I could, you know, burn Blissey, but it doesn't, I switch to, um, to Flash Cannon, and no, oh, I finally get the special defense drop right there, you know, and he's still using, um, Seismic Toss, and the Paralysis kills me. I mean, Paralysis, I could, I probably could have done some decent damage on Blissey right there, but Paralysis screws me over. I hit a last man Aqua Jet, he kills me with, with, with Seismic Cause, and that is it guys, the end of the Star Wars. <sighs>